Well, you could certainly sense the anguish with Dr. Nasser al alaki He wanted to make it clear that his son is not a member of Al-Qaeda. He claims that he does not believe that his son met with Abdul Muttalib, the man accused of trying to blow up that plane on Christmas Day. And further, he says, look, my son is a wanted man. He's cornered. He is not hiding out with Al-Qaeda. But once the missile started in his village, he had no chance. He had no choice, really. He had to seek protection from his own tribe in the mountains here in southern Yemen. And I just want to read you some of the quotes that he gave us. He says, I am now afraid of what they will do to my son. He's not Osama bin Laden. They want to make something out of him that he is not. You know, his father is saying, look, he has controversial views, but that's not the same as advocating terror and inciting terrorists to commit violent acts. He says he wants to try and convince his son to try and perhaps surrender himself talk to the Yemeni authorities, talk to the American officials, and he says, I will do my best to convince my son to do this, to come back, but they are not giving me time. They want to kill one of their own citizens. This is a legal issue that needs to be answered. And he's speaking there both about the Yemeni government and the American government. But it was extraordinary to hear this man talk about his son so completely differently than what the media, certainly, and the American official line about him and the Yemeni official line then has been. He says, look, he is a preacher. And in being a preacher, yes, he has had more controversial views over the last few years, but he is definitely not a member of Al-Qaeda. He adds, he has been wrongly accused. It's unbelievable. He lived his life in America. He's an all-American boy. My son would love to go back to America. He used to have a good life in America, and now he's hiding in the mountains. He doesn't even have safe water to drink. You know, it's clear this man is quite upset about what's going on with his family, what's going on with his son, and doing all he can to help, but at the same time wondering how long it is before Yemeni officials catch up with him here in this country. Well, in CNN, Sana, Yemen.